Hello, um, just thought I'd do another uh, hotel review really. I did a hotel review a couple of years ago and I think it's one of my most uh, successful videos with the amount of views and search results it gets. So, um, September 2019 we went to Coz in Greece with Chewy. We went to the holiday village in Marmory. Um, now, I'll put a disclaimer out now. It was just me and the wife. And yes, we did know it was a holiday village. All right, so some of the moans and groans I may have were really self-inflicted really by booking a, <laughs> booking a family uh, village uh, with just the two of us. So um, first things first, this issue has probably gone away by now, but when we arrived at Coz, <laughs> the airport was going through a massive renovation. So... Uh, there was a massive waiting time to get into COS itself. Uh, I think we was in well, outside the airport for about two hours queuing up just to get through passport control. Um, I think about three or four planes turned up at the same time and there's only two passport checking desks. So it took ages to actually get in. And considering it, it was like half past 12 at night, it, it dragged on for a bit. So it wasn't the best start, but I understood that you know they're trying to upgrade the airport. Unfortunately, with that comes uh, comes issues with uh, <laughs> trying to get into the actual airport itself. Um, right, yes, we go into the Holiday Village in Marmory. It's a Tui hotel. Um, it's a again, it's a family village. So me and the wife went on our own. It was a late booking. It's just one of those spare the moment things. So um, yeah, it's a few issues that we I know about that I can't really moan about because it's a family village. Um, the room, right, the room, I loved it. I loved the room, nice and tidy, nice and clean. The bathroom was great. It had a walk-in sort of shower, more or less a wet room really, which was brilliant. Um, there was none of this uh, shower over a bath thing. It was just a dedicated shower. Walk in, get yourself cleaned up, get out, job done. Uh, the usual things, coffee, fridge, um, a nice big bed, TV that worked. So basically you had a uh, shower in a bathroom, a bit of a lounge area, and the bedroom and the balcony. When I go on holiday, the thing I look most forward to is the pool. Again, it's a family village, so my grumble about the pool was that it was called a quiet pool, but it wasn't quiet at all. It was just full of screaming, shouting kids that weren't quite old enough to go to school, so even though I was going on holiday out of school time, I was hoping there wouldn't be many kids there, but yeah, there's too many kids for my liking. Um, screaming kids as well. What really annoyed me though was the fact that it was called the quiet pool, but this is where they decided to do the swimming lessons for the kids as well. And there was this one um, two-wee rep or holiday rep who'd done the swimming lessons and he had the loudest voice in the world, constantly shouting, constantly loving the sound of his own voice. So when you're just laying there trying to relax, all you hear is... A booming voice telling kids to swim and stop messing around. It was a bit, oh, can you just shut up, mate, please? But anyway, but again, it's a holiday village. Can't complain. Um, what else got? Food and drink. Right, again, really important. I love the food. Food was amazing every night and basically the whole of the day. It's massive relief for me to know that every day I'm going to get fed well. It's all you can eat, massive buffets, huge amount of puddings, great variety of food every day. I think they did like a themed um, night every night. So one night with Chinese, Indian, Greek, Mexican, American. Uh, so all the all the different types of food every different night. It was it was it was such a relief. Slight disappointment with the drink issues. Um, obviously, you're using the local. Um, beers and wines and spirits um, and when you did get a beer it came in like a plastic beaker um, literally about that tiny basically small no, don't, don't think even half a pint um, so that didn't really go down very well uh, I understand the reasons why you don't have glasses and stuff it's a, again it's a family hotel we don't have glasses where it's bound to be smashed by kids and whatever but um, it was a bit of a downer but you could help yourself they had beer taps wine taps all the soft drinks you can want, you can just literally help yourself. Um, but if you wanted a cocktail or something, you know, it's it was all using the local product. Um, and this is a bit of a whinge. 
there was a bar where you could have named brand um, liquors like Bailey's and Smirnoff and you know all the name brands, but you had to pay extra. If not, it's all inclusive hotel, all inclusive package. If you wanted the name brand stuff, you had to pay for it, and it was, yeah, it's, it's not what I expect really. Weddings, right? Just be careful. I don't think you can actually um, avoid it, but this hotel is specifically um, booked for weddings. So there's about three or four weddings there when we were there. So it got a bit busy at night time with, uh, uh, with wedding guests all walking around. So it's, it's a little bit weird, you know, trying to relax, having a drink. And there's a lot of people milling around trying to organise a wedding. And it's a lot of stressed people getting freaked out by by the wedding planning issues. But um, yeah, it's, it's no big deal. It's one of those things that I thought, oh, I didn't really expect weddings to be going on all around me, really. So... It's just a very, very slight issue there, not nothing major. Um, evening entertainment, it's what you expect really. It's, you're not going to get um, massive acts turning up, so it's the it's the basic. A, a few dancers, uh, a cheesy comedian, um, the holiday reps do their best with some 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 good shows. To be honest, I mean, I've always enjoyed. I've always no, what's the word? Oh, I've always um, appreciated. The fact that all the uh, the reps all take part in singing and dancing, and uh, considering they work all day as well, they always do a good job of, of all the shows they put on. But we didn't really stay that long. It was a case of well, we, we'll find out what's going on. Um, we watch the main act, and uh, then we go back to our room, and uh, uh, we didn't really watch too much entertainment, to be honest. One of the most annoying things I found personally was I well, we didn't make the most of the beach. The beach was literally across the road from us and one of the best days we had was actually just having it down the beach. Yes, it's a bit windy. The, the actual sea was, a, I wouldn't say it was rough, but there was a lot of waves. Um, but it was nice and tidy. You get your free use of um, uh, sunbeds. But it's just great fun. You know, the, the, there's a lot of people in the, in the, in the sea. Um, like I said, it's nice and clean. I just wish I'd made more, more of that. We only did one day because we didn't realise how clean and uh, quieter the beach would have been rather than standing by the pool with shouty screamy kids because itself <sighs> a bit boring to be honest for us there wasn't a lot to do not, not a lot to see really we, we spent one day in cos town and we did a little boat trip on the submarine a submarine it wasn't really a submarine it was like a, a boat with a glass bottom but it was quite nice you know they, they took us out to um, feed the fish basically we had a scuba diver who, who came with us uh, he went down under the water and fed a lot of fish so you had lots of fish around you and they took photographs of you in the uh, in the submarine which is uh, it was different and it's quite cheap as well I think it worked out about £15 each so I didn't mind paying that that was quite good nothing else for us to do of course though for I'm, I'm 44 my wife's 40 um so yeah, we didn't really find anything that tickled our fancy. There's plenty of trips you can go to um, across to Turkey. Uh, again, just be careful with, make sure you get a passport with you, because obviously you have to get the passport checks, because you're going from country to country. So um, there's a bit of a, a bit of a, um, issue with that. We didn't do that just because you had to be there really early in the morning and give your passport details. And there's a lot of discrepancy regarding how much each trip costs. So I didn't really fancy getting stung by that. One warning for you, right? Most of the time when we've been away, um, we always have to pay for an extension on the room because our flights are normally late. So check out at 12 o'clock most days, but then you have to pay extra to keep the room so you can have it for the rest of the day and so you can use it to shower and get changed, etc. before we fly home. Normally, we're, normally we don't even worry about it. It's the, the money's not an issue, but this time it's really expensive. If I remember rightly, it was 50 euros just to hold the room up for the day up until 3 p.m and after 3 p.m it was another 10 euros per hour and our flight was about 10 o'clock at night so it would cost us well over 100 euros just to keep the room most of the time well i think all the time we've been away it's only been the one set charge so 50 euros and it doesn't matter how long you have it for um but so we decided not to not to do that there was another scheme they had there where they you could book a shower room so you spend the day doing what you want to do, and then in the evening, you know, you just use their, their shower room to have a shower. But that was awful. We got to the shower room. Basically, it was the 
one of the budget hotel rooms. So the shower was shocking. It was like one of those showers that hang over um, uh, the bath and uh, the water went everywhere. When we got there, there was towels everywhere. The water was everywhere. It was just a really crap way to end the holiday, really. Having a, a shoddy shower in a shoddy room just didn't ruin the holiday at all, but it just made it think, oh, that was a bit, a bit crap, really. But yeah, but all in all, it's just, uh, it's just, it's not a very big holiday village either. It wasn't as big as I thought it was going to be. We've been to quite a few uh, Tui holiday villages, and they've always been big. Um, this one not done, didn't seem too big, but if you want good food, good drink, um, a good beach, then I would recommend the uh, holiday village in Marmory. But if you want a quiet, relaxing holiday, don't go there. A lot of kids everywhere. Um, yeah, I mean, but again, I've said it a million times in this video already. It was our own fault for booking it in the first place. So um, that's about it, really. That'll do. Bye.